Hey guys, this is Launchbox developer Jason Carr again. Um, I wanted to this time go through and give you a tutorial on how to install a DOS game uh, from either a physical CD or a CD image, um, an ISO file. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get Star Wars Dark Forces installed. Um, and I think for the most part, uh, if you're installing from installing a game from a physical disk, uh, a DOS game to work in DOSBox, um, e either a physical disk or an ISO image file, most games are going to be very similar, if not the same, uh, to this walkthrough. So hopefully this will help you figure out how to get DOS games installed in your LaunchBox installation. So let's get started here. First thing I'm going to do, I have a blank LaunchBox in front of me here. If you if you're if you can't figure out how to get this far, how to get uh, LaunchBox up and running, uh, please go watch uh, uh, the other, one of my other videos in this channel is called uh, LaunchBox uh, Steam Import Tutorial. That'll show you how to get up and running. Uh, then once you're here, once you have your, your basic LaunchBox installation, you can go ahead and delete the games that are there if you don't want them or, or you can keep them. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to select add to add a new game. And for title, I'm going to call it Star Wars Dark Forces. Easy enough. I'll go ahead and search the games DB to pull back the metadata. There it is on top. And then I'll go ahead and quickly download the images for it as well. There they are. Okay, so the first step in getting getting it configured is to go to the DOSBox tab and check Use DOSBox to play this game. Because obviously for MS-DOS games, you've got to use DOSBox to get them to run. Um, and then I'm going to go to the Mounts folder and specify the, the path of the setup files for the game. So if you're using a physical CD, um, you're going to select Add Folder and then browse your CD-ROM drive, say E colon on, on this computer, um, and you're going to select that and press OK. Obviously, I don't have a disk in there right now because I'm going to I'm going to use an ISO file uh, for this example, a CD image file. So instead of doing that, I'm going to click Add Disk Image, and then I'm going to browse to my Star Wars Dark Forces CD image file that I ha have here in my Documents folder. Now, this is just an ISO file. Um, typically, if you download an image of a CD, this is the type of file you get. So I'm going to go ahead and, and open that, that guy up, and you'll notice it adds, these are basically drives. Every, every mount is a drive letter in DOS uh, that, that you're basically looking at here. So as drive D, it's going to mount my Star Wars Dark Forces ISO file as a CD-ROM ISO file system. Um, you have some other options here, a floppy drive, a hard disk, or a CD-ROM. Um, obviously, you want to make sure that if you're loading up an ISO file or a physical CD-ROM drive, you need to select CD-ROM ISO there for the type. Um, otherwise, if you're selecting a hard drive folder uh, or, a fl or a floppy disk image, etc., you use the other types. So now that we have our drive there for your CD drive that you're going to install from, we need something to install to. So I'm going to add a folder this time and I'm going to browse to my LaunchBox folder. It's already in my LaunchBox folder here. And under games, I'm going to make a new folder called Star Wars Dark Forces. Okay, Inside of my games LaunchBox folder, I have Star Wars Dark Forces and this is what's going to mount as my E drive here. Uh, in LaunchBox, the C drive is re reserved for uh, applications that you automatically start up using the application path here. But since we don't have the game installed yet, we don't have anything to put in there at this point. So we're going to actually go ahead and leave that blank uh, for the initial setup process. And Because what, what LaunchBox does is if you leave the application path blank, but you check to use DOSBox, LaunchBox will uh, just open up a, a, a standard DOSBox window without running anything other than setting up your, your mounts so that you can run the setup process for the game. So here's what we'll go ahead and do. Uh, we'll go ahead and 
save our new game. There it is. And we'll go ahead and start it up. And DOSBox is loading here. Now you, you'll see a couple commands were, were already set up with, with DOSBox. One was uh, image mount, which mounts our ISO file as a CD drive, as drive D. And then um, the mount E command down there uh, mounts our hard drive folder as drive E. So we have both D colon. I'm going to type D colon to change to the D drive. And we also have E colon as the E drive. So I'm going to type E colon to switch to the E drive. But for now, I'm going to go back to the D drive, which is the CD drive that has the setup program in it. So I'm going to go to drive D, and we're, we're right now we're on uh, in the folder for the setup program. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and type install, which is the typical command to start installing a game in DOS. So now we're in the Dark Forces installation utility, and I'm going to go ahead and just. Uh, press enter on install here and do a standard install and it's prompting me where I want to install Dark Forces 2. Now my my uh, hard drive was E colon the one I the one I set up not C colon so I'm gonna go ahead and change this to E colon backslash dark instead of C colon backslash dark. Press enter there and the install is completed and now it's just going to do a quick sound configuration, but I can pretty much just press enter all the way through and it will do just fine. Um, express or custom, I'll do, I'll do express, enter, enter, about to test your music. Yes, I'll press Y because I heard the music just fine. About to test digital sound, press return to continue. Yes, I heard the sound. Press Y. Uh, stereo capability. Yes, the sound moved from left to right, so I'll press Y. And then my configuration is complete. So now I've um, all installed. I'm all installed. All I need to do is exit the install. And it prompts me to create a floppy boot disk, but thankfully uh, DOSBox handles those kinds of issues for you perfectly so you don't you never need to create a floppy boot disk uh, when you're dealing with DOSBox so I'm gonna go ahead and just exit now uh, I'm gonna read what it says on the screen here because it's gonna tell me what I need to do to run my game um, it says to reconfigure dark forces type setup to play dark forces type dark that dark is important because that tells you what command you need to to run to run the game so I'm going to go ahead and quick test it here while I have this open. Um, I'll, I'll type dark and hit enter like it tells me to. And then uh, the game will start up. And we know the game works fine, which is great. I'll go ahead and exit the game here. And then I'm back in DOS. So to exit DOSBox when it's in this uh, full screen mode uh, and you're, it's in this configuration mode here, I'm just going to type exit and press enter. Okay, so now we have the game installed. Obviously, though, we don't want to have to do all that every time we run the, our, our game. We want it to just run when we double click on, on the game here. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to edit the game. And then in my mounts uh, we no longer need the custom hard disk mount we need the ISO file to keep mounted obviously that's important uh, because the the game still requires the CD to run so we need to keep that one but we're going to go ahead and delete the hard disk mount because when we choose a, a, an application path here for the game to run it automatically does the mounting for you so I'm going to go ahead and hit Browse, and under Games, Star Wars Dark Forces is where we installed it, and then the Dark folder was what it installed to. And the command that it told us to run was Dark, so I'm going to select Dark here. And there is your application path to start up the game. So again, all I did here was remove my hard drive mount, 
at drive letter E and then go into my application path and select the in in the in, in the correct folder path select the command that it told you the setup process told you to run to start the game and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK to save and now when I run my game it just automatically starts the game and all is well in the world okay so there we have it go ahead and exit to DOS and of course when we exit to DOS DOS box will also close and you're all set there is Star Wars Dark Forces up and running perfectly fine um, now if you have a folder of uh, DOS game files that have already been installed and it's just a folder all you really have to do is uh, go through and immediately sele select the game application path and you can skip the setup process obviously in that situation um, if you're dealing with uh, like GOG games, good old games um, they're already installed so you certainly don't need to run through any kind of setup process for those games it's just a matter of finding the right folder, selecting the DOS EXE file and going from there so that process is really only complicated like that if you if you're needing to install the game but that should do it that uh, gives you a good walkthrough on how to install a DOS game to your launch box um, from this physical CD or from a, a CD image file uh, thanks guys for watching uh, do let me know if you'd like me to cover anything else um, or if you have trouble with a particular game uh, send me a, a quick a quick email uh, contact me via uh, launchbox-app.com and uh, I'll get back to you as quick as I can and help you get the game going uh, also do uh, subscribe to us subscribe to this channel here on YouTube uh, and I'll keep putting out tutorials uh, helping you guys out take it easy Bye bye